Hello everybody, this is JD in Zero IRS, and today we're going to take a look at Pure Power RF's 250 watt UHF solid state amplifier. Anyway, let's go take a look at it. Take a quick look at the uh, front panel. Of course, you have your power LED, your transmit LED, your multiple function meter, which will monitor uh, voltage coming in from the power supply, current during the course uh, transmission, both forward and reflected. And then you've got your peak and average switch for your meter for forward and reflected. And then you've got your in and out, either in line. Uh, or out of line as far as a uh, transmit capability and then of course you've got your trip LED indicator which would indicate you've uh, overdriven the amplifier and then of course a very nice uh, meter as well here's a look at the back of the case of course you've got your RF output to your antenna venting for the heat sinks you've got an RF bypass uh, connection which will go to the uh, RF bypass on the uh, TR relay. And here's your relay DC interlink which of course is uh, uh, wired up here and goes to your TR Dow key relay. And you've got your RF input and of course I've got a uh, adapter. I've got an N to uh, I've got an N to an SMA and then of course you've got uh, your key line input to ground and of course your DC input uh, for 28 volts. Here's the DC cable which is kind of pretty nice. It's a push and plug and twist and of course locks in place. To unlock it you uh, pull back on the uh, the button here on the connector. Of course I've got power poles. Quite, uh, quite heavy duty uh, to handle the uh, 19 amps. Uh, as far as options Obviously, the uh, TNR relay is an option. You can supply your own, or you can ask uh, Pure Power RF uh, if they have one available. And of course, this one here has already been labeled uh, bypass antenna and RF output, and the uh, uh, the uh, elbow connector was also supplied with the uh, relay. And then, of course, a short patch cable to go from the uh, bypass mode of the amp to the relay as well. So that's pretty much what you get uh, with the amplifier. Okay, we've uh, we went ahead and removed the cover to give you a look inside. And the first thing we'll look at is the uh, the RF pallet, and you can see I've got serial number two, and it's rated 19 amps at 250 watts. And you get a close-up look of uh, the work uh, done by RF cons. Uh, Take two. All right, we went ahead and removed the cover, and uh, we'll take a look inside. And the first thing you see is the uh, the RF pallet, and we've got uh, serial number two, 19 amps at 250 watts. And we'll do a little close up here, and you can see the work uh, that's been done. And then here's the uh, control board, which carries the uh, Pure Power RF. Uh, trademark or uh, part number and then of course you've got your your rear connections and then your RF output uh, connection as well your end connector what you see right there so you can see it's uh, pretty well laid out and uh, not uh, not too busy uh, plenty of room in the chassis. I think the uh, 
Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, power up the unit. Of course, as you notice, there's no no on and off switch to actually turn the unit on. So once you uh, power up your power supply, you will get uh, voltage uh, indicator through your meter and of course your your power indicator light. Current, of course, would be uh, in position when uh, during transmit you'd see the amount of current it was drawing. And then back to uh, voltage, and of course, as we turn down the voltage with the uh, Astron, and go back up to 28 volts. And we're showing about 28 volts on the meter. Uh, next step is to uh, get it connected to a transceiver and see what the amp will uh, do on output power. All right, we've got our uh, drive level adjusted on the uh, the Flex 5000, 10 watts input. Keep reading watt meter on here. Hello test, hello radio. Hello test, one two, one two. One, two, one, two, hello test. All right, we'll go to FM. And we'll key, bring the top line here. Two hundred fifty watts. Back to sideband. Hello testing one two one two one two. Hello test N zero IRS. Go to average. Hello test one two one two one two one two N zero IRS. Hello testing one two one two one two. All right, 250 watts out on side. Hello, test one two, one two one two. Hello, test one two, one two three one two one two three. Hello, test one two, one two one two three one two one two three. Hello, test. Let's set by the meter during transmit. Hello, testing one two one two one two. One two three, one two three. Hello, radio. Hello, radio. Average. Hello, testing. One two, one two, one two. Hello, 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 test. One two three, one two three four. Hello, test. FM. Reflected. He wants peak average. Yeah, back in line. Hello, test one two, one two, one two, one two. About 19 amps. Okay, the amplifier, of course, was shipped with a manual, and then, of course, there's the invoice. A very well laid out manual, uh, spiral bound, uh, indicates uh, without any options that uh, that you might have ordered or installed. Uh, specification test sign-off sheet, an introduction to the amplifier, safety information, of course, customer support, and then, of course, a layout sheet explaining what all the connections and switches I'll do on the front as well as the back and then of course you've got a station consideration section operation breakdown of the uh, the connector on the back for uh, the relay maintenance and then of course you've got the block diagram as well as a troubleshooting table warranty and then 
you've got uh, schematics of the RF palette and then you've got I think I believe you got a full size sheet of the amplifier control board as well so overall a very very nice instruction manual pretty much answers all the questions you might have Hello everybody, this is JD. Take seven. Hello everybody, I'm JD. And the cat is gonna meow. Come on, go, get. I'm shooting a video. You gotta go, cat. Come on. Hey, this is what keeps making me take too many takes. A big fat cat. Hello everybody, I'm JD and Zero I Art. Can't even ring my damn call. I'm shooting a video. Shooting a video. I'm taking a video. <laughs>